so first of all, to announce the Woman of the Year 2006 award, we give a warm welcome to the person I consider a friend, which is also our president, who is doing on the train. Each year by the Women of the Year organization to an exceptional woman whose personal and public life has been both brave and bold. Such a woman is a modern maverick, combining extraordinary insight with determination and a visionary approach. She insists on holding her arms and door wide open to the helpless, the turbulent, and the vulnerable. This year's winner founded the Kids' Company 10 years ago. Its, it's aim, as you know, is supporting children with emotional and behavioural difficulties in schools across London. Through therapy, social work and group activities, they help children with their emotional pain and prevent them from being excluded or dropping out of school. A psychotherapist by profession, she has more experience transforming severely disaffected teenagers than perhaps any other person in Britain. Her success rate is phenomenal. In 10 years, independent observers estimate the kids' company has saved more than 3,000 children. <laughs> she, they've saved them from going to prison or committing violent crimes. And to make this possible, she's raised over £20 million to cover the running costs, and she's helped by over 700 volunteers. So, let's take a look at what Kids' Company does. Hi, Kids Company is a very nice place and we get a lot of support from the Liverpool kids. I like the Liverpool kids. I think they're there. There's a female line. The middle is a lovely woman. Please! She's the best mother I could ever have, well, even though I've got a mother, but she gives us the most support we can get at the end of the day. And we all love her. This is Camilla Batman Gellich, who runs this charity. It's called Kids Company. She loves these children. I wanted to show me why the public are willing to demonize them. I think, you know, what makes these kids recover is a kind of maternal love and structure, you know, and people will look at me and think I'm very soft on the jaw, but I'm very strict. Rebecca, you're behaving like this because of what you've smoked. Come down, please. You'll regret it. Come down and talk to me. How are you, my love? Are you alright? company embraces thousands of children across London. A hundred staff work in schools and day centres. The charity provides a mixture of emotional and practical support to a wide range of children who refer themselves. They get everything from two meals a day to education, advice and counselling, or just a place to be. She has to raise two million pounds a year to run the charity and work seven days a week to keep it afloat. People can look at these children and think, wow, what monstrous characters, you know. What these people don't realize is what has gone into the making of a child who presents with such antisocial um, exchanges. It's very easy to dismiss them because the monstrous side is the only side they can afford to show you. The only power you have over them is the power of love. They want love. And for that, they will work. And for that, they will cooperate. And for that, they will try and modify their behaviors. And that's the power that people don't understand. They're so preoccupied with punishing them and taking revenge. And then the right solution is staring you in the face. They want love. <laughs> I now need Valium. <laughs>
feel deeply honoured and very moved to be receiving this. But I know for every one of a person like me who gets recognition amongst the incredible people like you, there are thousands more amazing women at street level trying to do something special for vulnerable children. And I think that we are in a society that really values wealth, values commodities, values personal credit rating. It's very important that we understand that the most urgent task ahead of us as women is the emotional well-being of children, not just our own, but the many who are excluded out there who don't feel that they have a witness to their lives who's compassionate, caring, and to whom they matter. That is probably the biggest crisis at street level and the biggest threat to us, much bigger threat than a nuclear bomb, than fundamentalism, than global warming, is the emotional deadness of children who are so terrorized they can no longer be bothered to live or to feel. And the only thing that's going to make the big difference in these children's lives is our ability to be kind and to give them love. And for us to do that, we need the money to be there as substitute carers when these children's carers fail. I'm not a miracle worker. Every single person who's been here and has helped me, I really, really appreciate. From people who were dying, who asked that flowers not be sent to their funeral, but the money to come to us. From people like Lady Purvis, whose son died, who made sure that all the money for the funeral flowers came to his company. Those are the extraordinary people who in their minute decisions of kindness and compassion have helped make kids' company what it is today. So I want to accept this award on behalf of all those kind people who went that extra mile to demonstrate that kindness, and on behalf of some exceptionally courageous children who wake up every day and survive their childhood. Thank you.